Hello YouTubers, my name is Axe Factor, and welcome to the most frustrating game and awesome game I've ever played. Right. Chainlink for a market. Why is it frustrating? Because we didn't have anything to begin with, and we get down 550 plus tickets at one specific point. But it's awesome, because the comeback is coming. I just spawned in on this spot. I'm not going to sit here. I can pick kills all day, but it's all about getting on flags and defending flags. Making them come back to flag caps. I'm going to be harassing their back caps a lot. So I get in on the spawn, make a couple kills just to get here because you can actually burn from this spot right here. This stairwell about halfway up as long as bad guys aren't on it and I get caught with my pants down. Obviously the flag wasn't there because they had more people than we had. If a teammate or two would have followed me, we might have been all right. So already we're down 300 plus tickets and that's how fast this can happen in Chainlink. I did a video a while ago explaining how the game mode works as I completely blow that shot. It's not about how many kills you get, it's about how many flags you can put together. It can be groups that are separated. So right now we have three links. We've got the one between A and B, then we've got two links between D, E, and F, quickly losing that. And it's a variable ticket bleed. The more links you have, the worse the ticket bleed is on the enemy team. And it can get really, really bad. So bad that DICE is actually adjusting it by 30 or 40% in CTE. So you don't have to play these high ticket servers anymore to get a game to last more than a couple minutes. And this burn is tricky. I can go out by the cars, but there's also somebody above me that I really have to be careful. And I'm just trying to edge back out to make sure I'm not losing the burn. And he came down and chased me out. So that's actually a spawn point up there. And I came back, I spawned back in, and I'm trying to clear these guys out. Because that's the other thing, defending some of these flag caps. These flag caps, they burn so quickly, it's a lot like domination. You got it one second, it's gone the next. And, as of course, I'm using my flashbangs. I see a guy around the corner, and he pops up into a nice spot that I can easily pick him off. So, we're still down a ton, and this is that stairwell I'm talking about. We can burn from here. And I'm not exactly sure if that's a spawn. I don't think so. I think that's just where the bad guys got. So go back up to the top half of the stairwell. Protect his move so he can clear that out. And away we go. I get caught out. That flashbang wasn't meant for that specific area. But I had to cover myself while finishing my animation. Because obviously you can't cancel your grenade animation uh, like that. So I was either going to sit there and die or try to cover and basically get a little health back and just responding back to one of their bat caps kind of continuing uh, the method to the madness of what led to the comeback we had a couple squad members and a couple other guys in the server that said hey you know what we can we can win this thing maybe we can come back but look at the ticket gap right now it's in that 500 range and it actually was worse than that and nothing worse than dying in one frame i actually slowed that thing down uh, this guy was lagging just a bit and uh, i record at 60 fps so when i was in my sony vegas playing it frame by frame i went from 100 to zero just like the dice hero so uh dice please but that's that's still happening but i blame that more on either the server connection or that player's connection because he was seen later lagging his balls off and people say x factor why don't you knife more that right there it puts you in an animation i'm in a very hotly contested area and i paid the price for it i don't even think i got the kill anyway so i'd rather use my bullets to maybe kill him have incoming fire get undercover return fire maybe still be alive i actually lost that flag cap because of that because i simply didn't stay alive i was in a pretty defensive position that i more than likely would be able to survive the incoming fire healed up a little bit, and returned fire. And a lot of times, just simply about reading your mini-map is he's more uh, in tune with getting his filthy more out than worrying about all the people on his mini-map and just cleaning it out in the ice cream parlor. I mean, who doesn't want to hang out in there, right? I mean, what's your favorite ice cream as a kid? And here I overextend a peak. I knew two guys were there, and now I've got an AS Val, by the way, with angle grip. Uh, because somebody could swap me on a revive very nicely. Uh, I overextended my peak, double checking what is in my secondary. It's the deagle, and there's something funky hanging off the front end of it. Maybe it's a compensator or flash hider. I'm not too sure, but we're not going to have this kit for very long. So I overextended that peak. I saw those guys in the mini-map. I should have played defensively and let them come to me. And here you can just mag dump with the uh, AS Val uh, very successfully, especially if they're spawning in on each other. And Burst Fire is your friend to that. It's not the AS Val of Battlefield 3. I am very disappointed. And that's something I do a lot. I'll use a flashbang, and I picked up a double. Somebody was inside of him or just spawned inside of him and just moved instantly so he wasn't invulnerable. So that's something I do a lot. If there's a weak spot and I don't want to have to worry about it, I'll flash it. 
I've been using flashbangs more and more, and even incendiaries, I'm a support player. If I don't want people walking through an area, I'll throw that for at least a couple seconds, because that's going to protect me. And there are a lot of bad guys this way, and we are getting squeezed as I kind of do a crouch shot. Try it again, and I'm just too low health to compete. And trying to get back to that stairwell again to kind of uh, get to this flag right here. This is probably my favorite spot to burn from. You've already seen it twice, and you guys are going to see why. Because I can cover all these different rooftops. But we're starting to make the comeback. We got it down to about 250 right now as these guys are pushing up behind me. So we're actually closing that gap as I get the old hip fire Juan Deeg. And now we've actually kind of twisted this around. We've actually had a few more chain links than the enemies had for the last couple seconds. And it's a good feeling. Chain link is a game mode that can get out of hand instantly. And it's a game mode that you can get back into the game instantly. I This was a game that I was playing during my live stream and I was extremely frustrated because we were basically all capped at one point. I'm like, oh my gosh, the writing's on the wall. Here we go. Shit's hitting the fan and it's about to hit the fan right here. But the team got it in gear. You know, it's not about the kills. It's not about the frags. Of course, you got a frag on your way from one point to the next or defending a flag, but it's simply getting to those flag cap spots. That is the name of the game. It doesn't matter about your KD, it doesn't matter about anything else but your flag caps and flag defenses. I've said this a million times, so I'll say it again. I will take four guys in my squad that are just getting to flag caps and flag defenses over five guys that are slayers all day, every day that are cherry picking kills. And here you see me in that same area yet again, but the opposite, this is the mirror. And you can burn from this stairwell as well and I'm just trying to mow and use that as cover try to stay moving I'm trying to bait somebody into shooting me but I didn't figure they would come from behind me sometimes when I'm moving a lot I'm like that, that I'm being erratic so if incoming fire is coming hopefully they're not as accurate I can drop down a little bit heal or I simply can figure out where they're coming from and return fire and just like Ooh. that the comeback is complete hopefully you guys enjoyed this nail biter of a round of pro market chain link the squad did great the team did great uh, making the most massive comeback I've ever seen uh, in Chain Link. As always, YouTubers, thanks for watching, thanks for hanging out, and we'll see you soon.